I'm Crazy D, your narrator. You know, it doesn't matter if you're in the rap game, model game, movie game, or everyday life. It's all the same. When you deal with the unseen, you often deal with the unforeseen. The Black Ice Chronicles. Let's begin. The topic for today, can we value our women just a little bit more? You know, I read all the different posts and the various uh, blogs and they always, well there's not everyone, but there's a uh, few of you out there that are misled and we have to reel you back in because you obviously don't know what time it is and you obviously don't have any respect for the sacrifice that our women have done for us just to keep us alive in a system that is made to destroy us Now, you may not have researched, but plenty of people haven't, and that's cool, but we live in a white supremacy system, which is hell-bent on the destruction of people who have melanin. And the first people at the tip of this fictitious maid system... Uh, the color, the rainbow color cast that they made, lollipops, uh, the ones that are at the top, the black, the first, which in actuality when you see it, when you flip the world upside down like it's flipped, you find out that they said that somehow everybody else came from white when that's a fallacy. When you turn it, right, the world right side up, you see it. Black come from, but anyway. The black is the one that has the most melanin. You want to get rid of them. Brown, red, yellow. Leaving this. Okay? So, we have to understand that within the destruction of wanting to destroy black people in this white supremacy system, Many lies will be thrown at you and it's up to you to detect those lies and realize what's really going on. Can we respect our women a little bit more? Can we stop talking about how disagreeable they are? How manly they are? Well... No, oh, if you would stop playing those goddamn video games and get up off your ass, if you would stop running from the cameras every time there's a media story because you're standing out there on the block serving that white cane and would stand up like a man, maybe the women wouldn't need to take on your role too while you're locked up in the penitentiary. Centuries. Now this is not to every black man, only to those who devalue the value of your woman. If you go out to the club and you look at another race, now remember now, I say that it's fictitious this whole thing which it is there's only one race on the planet black but when you look at what is set up within the white supremacy system to be thought of as better when you go out purposely and you say the black woman is too argumentative she's this she's that i'm gonna go on here and Give me a white woman because she's so nice and passive and feminine and all that. Well, you are working under a white supremacy mind state. If you went out to 
choose a person and you understand that there's only one race on the planet there's only one race the black race and you went out and you chose that person not because you thought they were better but because you generally genuinely had a love for that person that you just so happened to have met then that would be love but under this white supremacy system everything is tainted because you go out and say, I went out to go get this particular woman because <laughs> she's feminine and she's less confrontational and she's this and that. When in actuality, that is not true and you will find out sooner or later, my less than conscious brother. Or my less than conscious sister. But when you go out and you find and you meet that person and it's genuine and it's genuine. But how genuine can it really be when we have not first toppled the white supremacy system. Which sees melanin having people at the bottom of the totem pole. So can we stop downgrading degrading our women when everything that you like is right there. Why go get a fake ass when you can have the real one? Why go get a woman with fake boobs when you can have the real one? Why go out and find someone who is pump, 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 pumped up their lips when you can have the real one? Everything that they have ever talked negatively about, black people about, they are trying to be. But because they have a genetic deficiency within their skin, they can't necessarily keep that tan. But yet they want that. So in actuality, when you, we're looking at it, we throw the race thing around because we realize that is the terminology that that crazy European white scientist made and we know how to use it to tell the truth. In actuality, there's only one race and if you just so happen to get with that other race because you thought it was better, your kids will come out black. Yes, they will. And so in a way, what white supremacy is all about, the destruction of black people, uh, you're really defeating their purpose and you don't even know it. And so... There it is in a nutshell, and that's pretty much it. So they really don't like you. They really can't stand what you're doing. They can't stand you. And that's why when, you, when you're driving in rich neighborhoods, they stop you, and they want to kill you because the closer that you get to them and you're dating their daughters or their sons, you're wiping them out. You're, working, you're wiping out 10% of the global population. These people, that's what white supremacy is about. So that's why they want to destroy us because genetically, we are stronger, unfortunately. So would you stop, though, would you stop downing your women who saved you during slavery, who protect you while you're out there doing ill, who comfort you when you're coming home from a hard day's work as a blue collar or white collar worker who raised you from an infant to a grown man would you stop downplaying and degrading your paradise and so that's it <laughs>